Welcome back, everybody. It is Brave from Brave T Gaming with Monster Prom. We're this cute little dude daddy back here. Uh, he's super cute, got a detachable little blob guy that follows around, helps cheat in class. Hey, I'm not complaining. Whatever. Um, yeah, we're trying to win over the purple vampire, Liam, who's a total nerd. And I want to love him because I love those people that are secretly huge nerds. Or even not so secretly huge nerds. I just love nerds. Um, so yeah, we're, we're trying to do that. I have no clue what he likes. I think he likes smarts. I think he likes creativity. He might like charm. I might be doing this completely wrong. I don't know. But regardless, we're just going to keep trying. So I guess we can... Let's go have some fun. Our fun's kind of low. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes crazy. And I'm dabbing! Fuck yeah! You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there's like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. Actually, before we go on to see the interaction, um, so my mom is an elementary school teacher. And most of her kids are kind of delinquents. And so one day when they were well behaved, they were like being all well behaved and whatever. And uh, they were getting some math problems, right? Because she's a math teacher. My mom goes, yeah, you guys are doing awesome. And the kids are like, yeah, we're on a roll. And they started dabbing. And my mom dabbed with them. <laughs> just once. Just so quick that only the boys in that group saw it and they lost their shit. They're like, oh my gosh. She, ah, she knows what dabbing is. And I'm just like, part of me is really proud of her. But the other, at the same time, I'm like, mom, no, 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 no. What are you doing? You were like way too old to be doing that, you know? Ah, well. Looking around, you see Damien and Liam arguing about whether, whether black metal is better than death metal. Suddenly, Damien stops arguing and sniffs the air. Shut up. Do you smell that? Yeah, it smells like Christian Dior and plot armor. Oh, fuck. Oh, great. It's me, dickheads! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and I brought enough crucifix and holy water for the entire class. Oh, lucky me. I've been meaning to finish my take-home final for AP murder. Go ahead, just try to kill me. I'm the protagonist, bitch. She's right, unfortunately. This well trod this is well trod territory. We are, as they say, pretty fucked. Screw that. You got a way to save Damien and Liam without killing anybody. All you have to do is bring everyone to tears with a ma mind shattering guitar show. <laughs> I'm I have to do this option. It sucks that I can't say it. Or just throw a brick at her head. As funny as this would be. I'm doing this one. You pull a guitar straight out of your ass and start shredding. The faces of those standing nearest to you are melted all the way off. Luckily, none of those people are important to this game. Besides, they don't even have faces. Do you see this? I've already melted them. And she's so shocked. The polyharmics are truly astonishing. I would buy this on limited edition vinyl. This is metal as shit! It's like a... It's like if Mecha Godzilla fucked a volcano full of Vikings, and the volcano had a baby, and then they fed the baby to a fucking snake. <coughs> Ow! Mmm. Damien's voice hurts. What? You mean I'm not the most awesome thing in the screen anymore? Forget this. I'm out of here. Joke's on her. She never was the most awesome thing in the scene. News of your insane guitar soul spread throughout the school. You gain plus two charm and one fun. Ooh, I did it. All right. Damn it. Ugh. The Slayer's going to come back because they're sitting next to each other. Stop the sitting next to each other. You find Damien brandishing his usual silverware, a hammer and a chisel. Really? Does he eat rock? While Liam looks on in, in horror. You can't do that. Watch me. First of all, it's made of one seamless piece of obsidian. So it's low calorie. 
And second of all, it's a leash. Yeah, that thing. Man, I, Liam, you're a dork, and I really like you, but half of your words aren't even English. Part of this balanced breakfast. It's lunch. Eh, you're just jealous. No, I'm nervous. Nervous that you're going to eat that, get possessed by a leash, and kill us all. Well, I'm nervous that that's not gonna happen. Looks like these two are at an impasse. Maybe you can solve the dispute and score some romantic cred at the same time. Damien, don't eat it. You don't. You won't have room for all the baby seals I brought for you. Or Liam's right, Damien. You should make him eat it. Oh, that would be hilarious. But damn it, I'm on the Liam track. Baby seals, give them to me. I can already taste the cruelty. Ah, oh, you scoundrel. How could you substitute wanton irresponsibility for animal cruelty? You quietly explain to Liam that the baby seals you're, f you're feeding to Damien aren't really baby seals. Hey, these are just seal-shaped beanie baby stuff with tofu and pig's blood. Good thing you always keep a sack of baby seal decoys in case of a killer whale attack. I applaud your craftiness and your high regard for animal life. Let's go return to this thing to Larry's crypt together. It's so romantic. We're returning a possessed item to a crib together. Aww. Our babies will be so cute. It ended up being the third most romantic night you've ever spent in a crypt. Score. Oh, good. So I just regularly spend time in a crypt anyway. So it, um, it's even, it's just fine. It's fine. One second, my throat really fucking hurts. Yes, I'm drinking a pina colostria out of a pitcher. Don't judge me. Okay. Let's look at my stats. My fun could stand to be higher, but I feel like Liam doesn't care about that, so we should go do creativity. That day, while rehearsing for this class play, you are struck by the lightning of inspiration. You came up with the ultimate nickname for yourself. You tell everyone to call you it. Uh, Black Thunder. I would like to be called Black Thunder. Also known as one of the most seven most douchebaggish moves in the whole world. But the nickname is so awesome, inventive, and appropriate that people decide to go with it. Quite the feat! You gain plus two creativity. We, the devs, dare you to actually come up with a nickname for yourself and ask the other players to call you that name until the end of the f this run. Hey, uh, everyone, call me Black Lightning. No, Black Thunder, fuck. Black Thunder until the end of this run. I dare you. Later, you see Liam scrolling through his phone, looking like the embodiment of Inui. Hey, Oz, what are you doing? Stalking classmates for romantic purposes and offering rather absurd advice? Magnificent! I could use some rather absurd advice. I was exchanging messages with a work walla on this dating site, and all was going well for a time. But I've grown tired of our exchange. He's a bit clingy, and being clingy is my seventh biggest turnoff. Right between sarcasm and literacy, and actually being a pickle, and not a person. You know, because that's, that. when you get catfished, that it's actually just a pickle. The postmodern protocol d dictates for me to just ghost him and never talk to him again. But that's horrible, and I would never do that to someone. You see, I'm Liam, handsomely mysterious, yet a true gentleman. And my accent is always changing, because the person voicing me can never keep a straight accent. But neither, neither do I want the emotional turmoil of turning, telling how I really feel, and having an actual conversation about it. Oh, what an ordeal. So I've settled on just sending him a bunch of emojis, and never texting him again. That should do it right. The thing is, how can I convey this complex array of sentiments through the friendly language of emojis? This is your time to shine. Throw Liam, show Liam you excel at the complex sentiments that he might someday feel like sharing them with you. Baby croissant, school bus shooting star trumpet and crocodile, or this one? Little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached wear qual emoji. This one? Oh, that clearly is the best option. How did I think of that? 
Which version should I use? Little vampire growing disinterested and overly attached. Koala or little vampire with a silly hat growing disinterested and overly attached koala? Because of fucking course there's that kind of emoji available. Maybe the silly hat is not suited for this situation. Let's go with the classic. Okay, just send it. Ah, oh, he texted me back. Let's see. Oh, the work colleague being understanding of the little vampire's feelings and respecting them even if, if a bit hurt emoji. And we're playing back with the formerly grateful and ready to move on poop emoji. Oh my gosh, fucking course there is. What would that even look like? Look at this. He just texted me the emoji that's waving his hand like he's saying bye with an expression that says he's going to break all bonds without being resentful about it. Ha! Perfect! We solved this as a team. Cheers to us! And cheers to the creative people that turned every complex feeling and scenario into a friendly and colorful emoji. You gain plus two charm and one creativity. Fuck yeah! Okay, I'll take it, I guess! What the fuck? Why are there so many complex emojis? Alright, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you feel no saucy, comment what your favorite emoji is. It doesn't matter what kind it is. You can even say uh, from what app, whether it be from Apple Messaging, Android, Google, uh, Discord, Skype, any of them. Tell me what it is, what it looks like, and where you really like to look it, uh, use it. As long as nobody uses the OO face, which is the O-W-O, -O, the hello face, don't comment that. Don't do it. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Brave out.